Hello and welcome to part five of Dev Maths and Stats course lecture two. And here we're going to look at rules for combinations of functions, and that's combining the rules for simple functions so you can deal with much more complex problems. And you can address very complex problems using these combinations of function rules. There's three main rules. Um, one rule is for when you have a combined function made up of one function applied to, applied to another, and the other two functions are about and the other two rules are about where functions are multiplied or divided. So there's the chain rule, the product rule, and the quotient rule, and finally some mixed examples. So let's start with the chain rule. And this is where you have a situation where y, for example, is a function of u, and then u itself is a function of another variable x. In that case, the rule is that dy by dx is equal to dy by du times du by dx. And to remember this, you can just cancel out these two du's. Imagine doing that, although really it's more complex than that, but that's a way of memorizing, remembering it. Um, the mathematical justification for this is, is, too, is, is too time consuming to, to give you now. So this is just something you can accept, or you can look in a, a math bit like Chang and it will give you a proof of that. But we're just going to accept this. So for example, if y is equal to 5x cubed minus 7 in brackets all to the power 4. This is quite difficult to differentiate, it seems. We, we have no rules for this yet, but if we imagine that this part is equal to u, so u is equal to 5x cubed minus 7, if we call that u, then the overall function is just u, y, y is equal to u to the power 4, which is really simple. So this is simple and this is simple. So we apply this rule here. So first we differentiate to dy by du. That's this part. So we have 4 u to the power of 3. Then we differentiate u with respect to x, du by dx. So that's differentiate this one. So we have 15x to the power of 2. So the constants. Yeah. So multiply those together. The, the dots means multiply. So this times this gives you dy by dx. So now we have finished differentiating. But we have not quite finished the problem because we don't want to have u there. There is no u in the original question. We're not interested in u. u is just a method to get there. So now we replace this u. Remember that it stands for this. So we put u back in here. So u to the power of 3 is this part. 4 times 15 is 60. And x squared goes there. So that's our final answer. So please ask me questions in the synchronous section if you're not sure how that goes. But now we'll turn to four more examples. And as before, it's best if you pause, write this down, see if you can figure out how to do it, and then play the video and see how it works. Um, and if you have any questions about um, the explanation I give, then please just, as always, ask in the next session. So I'm going to copy this across into a whiteboard. Um, I hope you find it useful to see it on the whiteboard because I am doing this on a computer. Um, if I do everything in Maple, but then I set you problems and so on in uh, doing by hand, it's not really fair. So I want, to, I want you to see how it's done by hand. I'm copying this to make sure we get the right function. So the original function is y is equal to three times four minus x squared, all to the power eight. Now we can't differentiate this. So what we need to do is to Think of some way of making this simpler. And the obvious way here is to say, let's imagine the first step is that u is equal to four minus x squared. And then that means that y is just equal to three times u to the power eight. So y is three, to the power, three u to the power eight, that's a simple function. And u is equal to four minus x squared then I can easily differentiate those two. So this is dy, but dy by du, because it's telling me how y changes when u changes. So it's 24 u to the power seven. Okay. And then how does u change when x changes? That's dy by dx. This is constant, this differentiates to minus two x. And then to find what I want to find, so I want I want to know this, dy by dx, to find how y changes when x changes. 
the rule says this is going to be dy by du times du by dx. Imagine that cancel out, Let's see it works. So I just bring these across from here, so 27u to the power 7, 24 even. It's good to use the correct numbers. 24 used to the power 7 times negative 2x is equal to negative 48x used to the power 7. Okay. Um, so this is the different. I've, I've finished the differentiation, but now I need to replace the u because I'm not interested in that. I remember that u is equal to this here. So my final answer would be negative 48x, and then in brackets the u, 4 minus x squared, all to the power 7. That's my answer for dy by dx. Okay, so minus 48, x minus x squared to the power 7. Before I clear that, let's just go back to maple. That's a relief, it's correct. I see it's written things in a different order, but it's the same thing. Okay, so let's just clear the whiteboard here and get the next example. Okay, this is just e to the 5x. Let me just copy that. So y is equal to e to the power of 5x. I'm just going to check it paranoid about getting, copying it wrong. So uh, here, we haven't got a way of dealing with this yet. So we start with something we can differentiate, and we can differentiate uh, e to the power u. So we know how to differentiate that. And then we remember that eu is equal to 5x. So differentiate each part, so dy by du. This is the simplest thing we need to learn on the course. Nothing happens. This is almost as simple. And then combine it. So dy by dx. Let me not write it out. It's this times this. This one times this one. So it's e to the power u times 5. The dot just means times sometimes for clarity. So it's 5 e to the power u. Then we have to remember that u is 5x. So it's 5 times e to the 5. Oops. x. That's dy by dx. Um, so that's how you use the chain rule in this situation. By the way, you might notice that what really happens here is that this 5 just comes down, jumps here. So when you get used to it, you can differentiate this quite quickly by following that pattern. Um, a note on the, the word, the meaning of chain rule is as though you're starting with x here, and x goes into a function u of x. Control that. u of x gives you u. And that goes into a function which is uh, y of u, and you get to y. So y is a function of u, which is a function of x. So this is the chain, as in chain rule. Okay, well, we need to check we have the right answer back in Maple. Looks good. Okay, as always, if it's getting much too simple, please fast forward or start working on some problems. Um, but I'll carry on with these. So this is, uh, I'll copy this this time, just to make sure I don't make a mistake. I need to erase all of this. Let's paste this in the corner so we have the right thing. Um, good practice for you to, to know how to change this form, format into ordinary format. So it's log, which remember is log to the base e uh, for u. The power of five, that's remarkably ugly. I think one of my standards. Four u to the power of five. Okay, now, yes, again, we've no idea how to do this, but we can do. Uh, you see, why I've chosen this example is that how do we cope this situation? Because what we want to do using the step by step thing is this. But this is no good because u is already here. so. 
you have to think of a different variable to use this time. So think of what your different variable could be. Maybe I'm not going to use C. Let's have a capital E. How about that? A capital E is equal to, not to be confused with small e, is equal to 4 u to the power of 5. So you can use any variable in here as long as you, as long as you remember what that variable stands for. So now the process is differentiate this. We have a rule for this. dy by dE is 1 over E. That's how y changes when E changes. And how does E change when U changes? That's given by this. Uh, 20 U to the power of 4. Okay. And another strange U. So, and then to find y dy by dx, no, dy by du is the thing we are looking for here. Now I'll, I'll write the rule out again this time because it's, it looks different this time. So it's dy by de times de by du. Yeah. So this time, because we're using different letters, the, the rule looks slightly different, but it's the same idea. So dy by de is 1 over e. Oops e by u is 20 u to the power of 4. Remember it's the e we're trying to get rid of because we, we want the u, this time the e is not needed. So that's 4 u to the power of 5. So it's 20 u to the power of 4. That's this part and then e is 4 u to the power of 5. Now you could stop here but we can simplify this about because the 20 divided by 4 cancels out to be 5. And then u to the power of 4 divided by u to the power of 5 gives you u. So it simplifies right down to this. OK, so that's the example of the chain rule differentiation done. While this is here, I'd just like to show you an alternative method of doing this. Or this y is equal to log 4u to the power of 5. Now, if you've worked through the first day's pre-calculus material on logs, you'll know that without doing calculus, log 4u to the power of 5, you can expand this using the log rules into log of 4 plus um, log of u to the power of 5 and then this we can also change like that so let's do it one step so log 4 plus 5 log u this can be linearized or expanded using the log rules and now we can differentiate all of this using the straightforward rules because dy by du log 4 is just a constant number, so that gives you nothing. Log u is just 1 over u, so you come straight to here, which is the same as this answer. So in this example, there's no need to use the long chain rule. If you first spot that, you can just expand this into a simple form and differentiate very easily. But you get the same results. And maybe this was more enjoyable, but this is quicker. So it's worth thinking about these rules sometimes, because they can save you work. Okay, let's uh, make sure that's correct. That seems good. Okay, now on to the final one. So slightly more difficult because there's two parts to this. So I'll copy it as before because it's quite likely I'll make a mistake otherwise. Because of this one, so this one is y is equal to e to the power negative v cubed plus log of 4v to the power 5 plus 1. y is equal to 
e to the power negative b cubed plus log 4b to the power 5 plus 1. I think it's differentiate that. So um, this looks nicely, but remember that you can do each part totally separately. So I'll try and do this in a reasonably concisely. So first of all, I'll look at this part here. Maybe I'll just do this in two colors. So this part here, I'm going to do by saying, and because we, we have V here, so I'm not going to bring in U, maybe I'll use um, uh, A and B instead. So I'm going to look at this as um, E, sorry, E to the power A. And I must remember that, so Y, Y is equal to E to the power A and A is equal to minus V cubed. That's just doing this part here. I'm ignoring this for now. So Y is equal to E to the power A and A is equal to minus V cubed. This is not strictly correct because it ignores this, but it's just my short hand. So now I need that Y. Now I need to have dy by dA. Differentiate by respect to A. That's the simple rule, it just stays the same. And dA by dV is negative 3V squared. Okay. And then, so the, the final answer for this part differentiated is going to be um, dy by dV dy by dv is this times this, so it's e to the power a times minus 3v squared. But then I have to remember that a, in fact, is, um, is equal to um, minus v, is equal to minus v. So the whole thing becomes, oops, uh, minus 3 v squared times e to the, um, a is a to the minus v squared, e to the minus v squared. So e to the minus v squared is e to the a. So it's what, it ends up with what we started with. So again, using that pattern I said your spot is that when, when you differentiate something like this, this part will remain unchanged in the answer. You just multiply by something. So that's this whole section. That's that differentiated. Now we have to do the whole thing again with this part. And here I'm going to think of, use the use b. So y, but y is only this part of y, is equal to log of b. So that's very straightforward. But b itself is equal to 4b to the power 5 plus 1. Differentiate each part. So dy by db equals 1 over b using the simple rule, and db by dv is equal to 20v to the power 4, and then you multiply these together to get dy by dv for this part is 1 over b times 20v to the power 4, which is, and then we can replace b and by this, so you have 20 b to the power 4. This is power 4 here. Let's just make that a bit clearer. It's not v times 4, this is power 4. Uh, 20 b to the power 4 divided by b, and b is this 4 v power 5 plus 1. And there is, it's not much you can do to simplify that. So the final answer, going back to black, is that dy by dx, the overall answer, is just equal to this. So we've got a cube there. Okay, if you've been annoyed or wondering why this is wrong, then this should indeed be cubed. If I was a good person, I'd go back and make this 20 minute video again. But I think it's a good learning experience for you to see that.
bit of uncertainty. I did it by mistake. 4b b to the power of 5. Hmm. Mistakes breed mistakes. Plus 1. So, so it's this part minus 3b squared e to the minus v cubed plus 20v over 4 v to the power of 5 plus 1. So you just add this with this, and that gives you your final answer. Okay, so final moment of truth. This, this will look probably quite different. Oh, that's quite similar. So we've got the correct answer according to Maple, so everything must be fine. Okay, so plenty more examples to be had uh, on the problem sheet for today. Um, if you had any problem following any of these, please um, just get in touch with me uh, and ask me in the session, the live session. Okay, thanks for watching.